Hello and welcome back to Tech Biz. And in this video, um, I finally made an upgrade. Oh, it's gonna fall if I grab that. I've got many CPU boxes in the background. Ignore my Grinch pajamas. I'm currently in my pajamas. So I went from the Ryzen 3 3100, okay? Pretty modest CPU. Um, back in the day, it cost me 175 or so. Then I went to the Ryzen 5 5600 in that CPU box. And then I was like, you know what, I'm going AM5, Ryzen 5 7600. But I didn't actually enjoy that. There were a few issues that I'm gonna tap into a little bit later in the video. And now I've made the switch to the Ryzen 9 7900 and boy, is it a great CPU. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you my thoughts on the Ryzen 9 7900. Is it worth it? Is it worth it over the 7600, which is a pretty good bang for your buck CPU. So this is gonna be my mini sort of review of it and also my thoughts on it in general. So let's get into it. So as for why I made the switch, I was having a lot of issues with my Ryzen 5 7600. Now, as you can see on the CPU, you'll be able to see, focus, yep. You'll be able to see that there's quite a lot of thermal paste on there, right? And that's because multiple times I had to reapply thermal paste and I tried different coolers, different CPU coolers, different mounts, different cases even. Uh, I switched from the NR200 to the um, the A4H20 by Lee and Lee. And yeah, it just could not reach below 75 degrees. Now I think that comes down to an incorrect mount with the IHS of the CPU and some really bad silicon quality. So in Cinebench, you can hear the system running over here. It's kind of loud to be honest. And we're hitting 84 degrees. Now this CPU is a really poor bin. I can't undervolt it at all really without stability issues or crashing. Um, especially when I'm playing a game, it'll like slow the game down so it'll run half the speed, but be it half the frame rate, it'll, it's really weird. Anyway, we are sitting over here for Cinebench score. Um, yeah, so we're just sitting at a score of roughly 13,954. Um, and that's probably because we're not doing too well thermally, um, 85 degrees is uh, not optimal. And even our clock speed isn't really hitting the maximum, but it can. So uh, let's switch the CPU over and see how it goes. Also the power drawer is sitting at 88 watts. So what do I do? Get the Ryzen 9 7900. I love that CPU and it is amazing the value you get. For 575 Australian dollars, or around, I don't know, 320 US dollars, especially with the added bonus of selling your old CPU, it is a bargain. 12 cores, and it performs really well. Also, the silicon quality is much better on this, and the temperature readout is a lot more consistent than the 7600, mainly because it takes an average of the two CCDs. So if you're like me and you hate fan noise, it really is beneficial because you can keep it running at a low 65 watt TDP. Now, as for the performance itself, it's quite good. So in Valorant, I average around 650 FPS, which is quite amazing. To be honest, I didn't check with my Ryzen 5 7600 before pulling it out, um, which I probably should have done in hindsight. And yeah, it does really well. And especially running at 170 watt TDP, which is the uh, default TDP of the 7900X, you definitely get a little bit more performance. So on the stock version, at 65 watts, you get about 25,000 points in Cinebench, which is quite efficient, but at 170 watts, you do hit 30,000, especially with a little bit of an undervolt, you do get some really good performance there. So who's this CPU for? That's my question. And I really think it's for people who like to game, but also like to do a lot of content creation. I've noticed in Premiere Pro that it is a lot faster than its counterpart, the Ryzen 5 7600, and those 12 cores really does just make the system feel a little bit more snappy than the 7600. Not sure if it was the silicon quality or whatever, but I did feel like six cores is kind of becoming a bit obsolete in the future. You can still use it and it's very much a capable CPU, but it's kind of phasing out and you kind of need eight cores or more nowadays. So those are my thoughts on the Ryzen 9 7900. I know this was a pretty short video, um, but I don't think there's much to be said, to be honest. And the CPU readout for the thermals is quite good overall. So yeah, really nice there, especially when you don't like a lot of noise coming from your PC. Like I said before, you can set that fan curve so that it's not gonna be like 100 degrees, um, but also isn't blowing the house down with the amount of noise coming from it. 
So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I got a new light. Um, I actually quite like it. I've got some TikTok hair going on. Um, funnily enough, it got banned um, or is getting banned in the US. So everyone's flooding to Red Note. Anyway, that's a conversation for another day. Um, yeah, like and subscribe for more videos. And as always, I'm TechBiz and I'm out.